Alrighty, so now we have uh, Don't Give Up On Me by Andy Grammer. And now we're going to do the little finger picking part. So it is a really like guitar oriented. Uh, it's lower notes than lower we can get on a ukulele. And not higher notes that we can't get on the ukulele, but if we take the lower notes from the guitar and find them on the ukulele, now the corresponding higher notes on the ukulele are too high on the ukulele. Like if that makes sense. So um, it's called like a note range. So usually it's talked about um, the range of an instrument or the range of somebody's voice, a singer's voice. So um, usually it's a singer's voice they talk about, the range. So the range is the lowest note that somebody can sing or play on an instrument, and then the highest note that they can sing or play on an instrument. So that's their range, okay? So this song has a range from just some lower note to some higher note, okay? Now on a ukulele, the range is a lot higher than a guitar in the song is played on guitar. So if we move the lowest note up to be able to play on a ukulele, now the highest note also still goes up because the distance between notes is still the same. So I hope that makes sense, the range. So unfortunately, it's impossible to play on a ukulele, but as usual, I figured out sort of a workaround, a way that we can still get it to work. Okay, and I wrote it out, and I'm looking at it right now, and I realized it's a lot of scribbles, like usual. Uh, okay, so the chord progression is D, A, B minor, and G with the little finger picking thing. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna pick on just these two middle strings on the ukulele, uh, the C and the E strings, okay? Which we have, with the capo, it's not really C sharp and E sharp or um, B flat and F, however you wanna look at it, whatever. Uh, so, the Intro Okay is um, what what I'm gonna do first let's talk about the picking okay on these two strings okay so I'm gonna pluck so with my thumb I'm playing the C string and with my first finger for me this works out um, this is comfortable I'm plucking up with my first finger on the E string. So my thumb is going down on the C, up on the E, so. Okay, and notice that I'm not moving my hand. Okay, I definitely want to avoid going with, say, one finger and jumping back and forth. That makes it way too hard. And let's be perfectly honest, okay, back and forth with one finger. Okay, it's really hard to, to play like this. Okay, hear how nice and smooth and steady and fast that is. It's really difficult to do with one finger. Okay, so uh, not that we need to play that fast for the song, but if you can play that fast, smoothly and correctly and everything, then it's super easy to play slower, okay? So think of like uh, a car that can go like, I don't know, 180 miles an hour. And it's really easy for that car to go 30 miles an hour. It's not even trying. Okay, so same thing. So that's the picking for this whole thing. Okay, the whole picking section. So for the D, 
what I'm going to do is I'm going to bar across the second fret, okay, in my pinky at the, and remember this is relative to the capo, so it's really the third fret in the ukulele, but second fret up from the capo, and then fifth fret on the E string with my pinky, okay, just because that works for me, if you want to use your third finger, whatever. And same with the hand, if you want to use two fingers or a thumb and your middle finger, your second finger, whatever works for you. Okay, so we're going to play two on the C string, five on the E string. Then you lift your pinky up and play two on the C string, two on the E string, two on the C, two on the E, two on the C, two on the E. Okay, so it's... Okay, and I'm going to count it. Uh, one, I'm going to count it wrong. Okay, I'm going to count it one and two and three and four and. Okay, and it's wrong because then one and two and three and four and another time equals one measure. So it's really like one E and a two E and a one. Yeah, one E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a. It's really that. Okay, but that's really a mouthful to try to blah, 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 blah. Okay, but the counting is really one E and a two E and a three E and a three E and a four E and a one E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a. So it's one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And that's the intro. So one, two, three, four is one measure. One, two, three, four is the second measure of D for the intro. Okay, then the A, I'm going to play the first fret, and it's really hard to kind of squeeze in there with the capo. Okay, but it's the same two strings, same picking and everything. So, one, zero, one, zero, one, two, one, two. So. And that's one measure of the A chord. Okay, then the B, I'm going to move up to the second fret on the C string. And two zero two zero two 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 zero two zero two 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 two. Okay, then the G is a little trickier. Okay, so now it's I'm moving up to the G shape, but I'm gonna lift up my second finger off of the A string, so I get that zero. So it's two three. Okay, then to zero, I'm now playing, um, I think I said earlier that everything's on these two strings, it's not. At the very end, it jumps to the A string. So, two, three on the two middle strings, the C and the E. Then, two, zero on the A string, two, zero, two, two. That's when I put my finger back down. Okay, so it's, I'm gonna count one and two and, which is totally wrong. One and two and three and four and and then again one and two and three and four and okay <clears throat> excuse me so uh, the intro is just okay is the intro and that's I think about the tempo of the song uh, then the whole thing through, okay, is, let's see if I can get through it all the way uh, without anything, without any incidences. Uh, super busy, like two weeks going on right now, so I wrote all this out um, in, uh, I think in the car. We're waiting for one of my kids uh, to pick him up for something or other uh, a few days ago. So I didn't actually play through the whole thing. Uh, I have like an hour right now to kind of do a couple of videos here. So bear with me. Okay, but the whole chord progression thing with the picking is... That and I blew it. And 
and blew it. That's the G. Sorry. But with a little bit of practice, and if I slow it down, I can totally do it, um, which actually uh, is a really good practice technique. Okay, you should not try to practice something faster than you can play it correctly. Okay, so what you want to do is go Okay, yay me. I just played it correctly. Okay, so slow, but I played it correctly all the way through. So what you want to do is always practice playing it correctly at any speed, however slow you need to, but perfectly correct. Okay, then speed it up, okay, keeping it perfect and correct. Okay, because uh, a friend of mine sort of t said this phrase and I love it because it's so correct okay you don't want to be practicing mistakes okay so if I play it and I go okay that was correct but if I went like oh, I'm playing that twice but I just keep doing it anyway what I'm doing is I'm practicing it that way which is wrong, and now when I try to actually play it correctly, I have to retrain my brain and fingers to play it correctly. I have to unlearn the incorrect way, the wrong way. I have to unlearn that, then relearn the correct way. So you don't want to be practicing mistakes, definitely not. Okay, so that is the song. And uh, I wrote out sort of like the arrangement whole thing. Okay. So the intro is with the plucking. Okay. The first verse is with the plucking. The second verse is with the finger picking. Okay. Then the chorus, there is some of the picking and there's also some kind of chord ha action happening. So you could either pick or strum for the pre-chorus. Then the chorus, you definitely want to strum. Then that little intro after the first chorus, where it's two measures of D again, is picking again. Okay, then the verse is picking. Then the pre-chorus, again, picking or strumming. Then the chorus is strumming. Then the bridge is strumming. And then the outro is picking. Okay, and the picking, you play the very, very first note of the G, and that's it. Bong. Stop. Okay? So, you don't even have to go to the G shape, because you never get that far. Okay? So, the very ending would be like... So, it's the D, A, B minor all the way through. And then the G, all you're going to play is just that very first note. So, no, I don't like that. I like this note. So I'm going to change that so when I type it out. Okay. So I lied. So I want, we, we want to end on that G, which is the third fret um, of the E string, which is really the fourth fret, but with the capo. So. So this is the ending. Yeah, that's definitely the way to do it. it sounds good. Okay, so there you go. Uh, that is, <clears throat> excuse me, uh, Don't Give Up On Me by somebody I keep forgetting, Andy Grammer. 
and there we are easy and uh, hope you had fun with it